Hello everyone, welcome to Antanglex. So today we are going to start the, the first session of our business technology paper. So previously this paper was known as accountant in business. So we can discuss what the syllabus we have to cover in this business technology. So first one is business and its structure. So there you will le learn what are the bodies mean by the business organization and what are the structures in the business and next you will learn what are the external factors to be considered or will affect the business organization and next you have to learn the reporting and complaints responsibility of a business entity and next you will look through what are the communication and ethics should be followed by a company for the success of that organization and lastly you will learn the leadership and managing responsibility for the for achieving the goals of the organization okay so don't wasting time we can start the syllabus or we can start the first chapter so first chapter is introduction to business and its culture so guys what is mean by an organization so before jumping into the definition we can learn what is mean by what is mean by that word organization so organization is a group of people there is a group of people with a common purpose so there are a, a group of people not a single or individual and that group of people have a common purpose okay so we can discuss a formal definition for a business organization so organizations are a social arrangement for a controlled performance of collective goals so in the definition there are three aspects we are discussing so we can discuss one by one in case of that three aspects so first one is that controlled performance so there should be a systematic performance from the business to ensure they are achieving the goal and second aspect is that social arrangement so there are some arrangement in the business to achieve the goal so that co uh, that group of people will work together or they are arranged to uh, to obtain the success of the organization so if it is a larger organization the structure will be formal and in case of a small organization the structure will be informal okay so it will depend upon the size of the organization and third one collective goals so in case of the goal there is a collective goal or a, a single goal or a similar goal to everyone there should be a similar goal to everyone while you attending the, attending this class we have all have a collective goal to pass this paper isn't it so that's mean by collective goal okay so in your mind there will be a doubt what is the actual spelling of an organization so you can see organization and you can see organization so guys both are both gives a common both gives a similar sense that organization is more used in british english and organization is used in american english and there is no difference between the meaning okay so you can use organization and organization but in the bt syllabus they're using organization so that's the difference okay then we can discuss what is the benefit of forming an organization okay so first one is that sharing of the skills and knowledge we had discussed that there is a collective people isn't it there is a group of people so by forming that group we can share the skills and knowledge and we can use that combined energy to contribute to the sexes next one enables specialization different individuals has different skills and specialization so that different specialization can be formed and which enhance the to reach into the sexes next one pool of resources so while there is a combination of people we can pool the resources every we can pool all of the resources and it will help to achieve the success of the organization so 
by these three factors we are getting a new thing which is known as synergy so synergy means achieving something achieving something which is not able to achieve by standing individually so while combining they are getting additional value other than they are standing individually like we can say 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 so while they combining they are getting an additional value is 3 not 2 they are not getting 2 they are getting 3 why because of combination so that is known as synergy that extra power they are getting through the company combination purpose is known as synergy all right guys next we can discuss what are the different types of organization so organizations are divided into two types first one private sector and other one is public sector so private sector means the sectors owned by the private individuals and the public sector means the sectors owned by the government of a country and private sectors are divided into two first one is profit motive or commercial organization and second one not for profit organization so profit motive organization is formed or the primary objective is to make the profit or to increase the wealth of the investors but in case of not for profit organization their primary objective is to provide services or goods and not for their their primary objective is not to make profit okay and don't mistake that this not for profit organization is uh, never making profit don't mistake like that the thing is that they, they, they may make profit but their primary objective is to not make profit that's the only difference okay anyway there should be some income now there any any way to run the business in the future there should be some incomes or profit okay so don't mistake like that and commercial organizations are divided into three one is sole trader second one partnership and next one limited liability company and not for profit organization is divided into two. First one is non governmental organization, and second one is cooperatives. Okay, so we can discuss what is private and public. So, private sector organization is owned and controlled by the government. Ex uh, example, police and the public transportation, etc. Next one, private sector. So, they are owned by the private and it is for profit seeking and private organization is formed for profit seeking or profit making okay so we had done with the private sector and public sector and next we can discuss the what are the types of commercial organization